Good day everyone, Complaining Gamer here, check this out. What you just witnessed was an Android mobile phone being used in The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild as a motion controller in Simu, a Wii U emulator. Let me show you how it's done. Before we begin, and this is very important, you'll need a phone with a gyroscope sensor. Check your phone sensors using the Play Store app Sensor Kinetics. Without a gyro, your phone will use its accelerometer and magnetometer. Expect less than ideal performance in this scenario. As I said, ideally your phone will have a gyroscope. First download Simu, then Simu Hook. Extract the Simu folder onto your desktop. Then extract the Simu Hook files into the Simu folder. Next up, download PadTest 1.0.11. You can forget about this program for now, there's no need to extract the contents. From here, you can jump to the main text guide courtesy of developer Raiko, or you can continue watching. Next, we'll download and install Motion Source 1.1.0 on your phone. Make sure you've allowed the installation of APKs from untrusted sources, all links and details provided below. Now run the program. You should see a list of network IPs. If you don't, try enabling Wi-Fi and Bluetooth slash USB tethering, then press refresh interfaces. Pick the address you want, but make sure it's reachable by your computer. Then press the server slider. This will make your phone discoverable. Motion Source 1.1.0 introduces some new features including the option to select your starting orientation, whether you prefer portrait or landscape. In most cases, you should not need to touch the sensor settings. Additionally, pressing your network address will provide a MAC address for your device which can also be adjusted with the settings at the bottom. Now let's open up PadTest from within the archive. Top left in client controls, input your phone IP and make sure the port numbers match with the Motion Source app. On PadTest, tick box 1 in request data then finally click start. If all is well, the PlayStation controller will mimic your phone's movement smoothly and accurately. Remember, when adjusting settings for the first time, keep your phone in a neutral position on a flat surface. Now you can close pad test if you want. With our connections established, open up Simu. We need to edit the simuhook.ini file. By default, the ini file is not in the Simu folder. To make it appear, click Options, Gamepad Motion Source, DSU1 and Buy Slot. This will make the ini file appear in our Simu folder. Double click it or right click open with notepad. Enter server IP equals and input the correct address. For me, it was 192.168.1.4. Now you can save and close. At this point, you will also need to restart Simu. If you somehow change the default port of 26760, type the new one in the INI file as server port equals and the correct one. There's also binding which can be done by MAC address for full input slot control. That's it, you're all done, you're ready to go and destroy some gyro based shrine puzzles. To turn off the connection, simply move the server slider on the Motion Source app. This mod comes from the mind of our own mad scientist Raiko, the developer of Simuhook. When it comes to motion controls in Simu, DualShock controllers are already the all in one solution, but not everyone has a PlayStation controller. The Android solution here is not ideal due to its pick up and play nature. It is considerably better than the current method of using a mouse, even with its newly added axis on the scroll wheel. If you wanted to simulate a DualShock experience on an Xbox controller, Reddit user Linked Designs put together a very funny mock up of how you might do this with the Android method. Before we had either of these methods, we were using the mouse by holding the right click with just two axes. Painful doesn't even begin to describe it. If you'd like to see the older technique in use, then feel free to check out my motion control adventure video which highlights the struggle and may provide a few laughs as well. If it wasn't clear by now, the main application for using your phone as a motion controller is within Shrines. Here it performs remarkably well, turning what was a headache into a massage. If you would like to learn more about anything that was mentioned here, feel free to go over to the Simu Hook website 
and if you have any troubleshooting woes, come over to the official Simu Discord. That's it for now people, I've been The Complaining Gamer. If you enjoyed the content, remember to subscribe. Have a great day, take care, and I will see you next time.